Hey guys, Darcy here. Today we're going to talk about the default location for your iLock as well as content such as your virtual instruments. Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about iLock. With your Luna, you essentially have to use an iLock uh, to manage licenses. This is for things like your Neve summing, your API summing, um, your API console because those versions are software based um, that live as extensions directly in Luna. They're not plugins that connected directly to your Apollo. So you have an iLock to manage those types of things as well as your overall uh, license to uh, Luna itself. And so if you have iLock, you may either be using it in one of two instances or both, which is over a USB key or over the actual cloud version. Um, this may be because you have one iLock key but you have two devices and so you want one on the iLock and then one on the the cloud so now you can determine where your default location is for the computer uh, the version of the software that you're using so if we go up here to manage on the left hand side then we go up to the top right and we see this cog wheel so we're going to click on that and we can set default activation location and then from here we can see whether or not we're using the usb key or the cloud instance. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, you may have two devices and you want to activate them both differently. But one of the benefits of the USB key is that sometimes has happened uh, where iLock may go down. There may be some kind of an issue there. And if it does go down, then you are basically locked out of your sessions during that period of time due to the fact that you're using a internet based version or maybe you're in a situation where you just don't have internet and therefore you're going to struggle to be able to um, get access to the sessions that you're working with because you need the internet to do so so this is just one of those benefits additionally while we're here we can also go up and hit default content location and this is going to determine basically which hard drive that when you install these new plugins and extensions are basically going to install too. So that is all of these products that you see here, you know, your, your mini Moogs or the uh, extension versions of these plugins, whether it was an ATR uh, 102 that are specific to Luna and where they're going to be installed, what hard drive they're going to be working off of. And that's pretty much it for this. If you found this helpful, let me know. If there's anything else like this that you, you would find beneficial uh, having a video on, let me know that as well. Otherwise, have yourself a good day and peace, y'all.